We're here to build a miniature aquaponic system. We've bought all our materials, so let's get going. So right here we have our plan for our miniature aquaponic system. Here's what it's going to look like overall when it's done with a fish tank on bottom and plants on top. Then we'll have a grow light hanging from the roof. And see, these are our wood components. So we've bought two inch by six inch boards that are 12 feet long, two inch by four inch boards that are 12 feet long, and one inch by three inch boards that are eight feet long. And we're going to cut those pieces, uh, this, this two by six into four pieces that are 19 inches and one piece that's 52 and a half inches. If we look here, the 19 inch boards are going to go here, 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 and here, and they're going to run long ways in between the grow beds. And in this, this part right here is going to be that 52 and a half inch board. It's going to run right across the front. So let's get to cutting. So we're here to cut our first piece, and we're going to cut several pieces out of this two by six board. Uh, we need four pieces that are 19 inches long, and then we need one piece that goes across the front that's going to be a really nice sort of center piece. Uh, that everybody's going to be able to look at. So that one front piece we're going to want to make uh, out of the nicest piece of this board. So we've sort of looked at it here and we've identified, you know, this is some pretty good grain here, but we look at different parts. Uh, and down here there's, there's a knot in the board um, that kind of goes all the way through. And so we're going to want to take this and hide it a little bit. So we're going to try to avoid cutting this into our larger piece of board. So we're going to go through and um, We've pre-measured a little bit. Down here, there's a, uh, about, we're gonna cut about 19 inches in. All right, so we'll make our little tick mark there, right on 19. And then we'll take our speed square. So this is gonna wrap right on the edge of the board, on the straight edge, and we're gonna, we're gonna go right here close to the board. And then we're gonna make our little mark all the way across. Okay, so this is our 19 inch piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my safety goggles and I'm going to mark all these pieces and then we're going to cut them up. It's really important always to, to look and, and double check where your saw blade is going to go to. We want it to be really hard up against this fence. You know, sometimes I might even go ahead and put a wood clamp on there just to make sure that it sticks really well. And make sure your fingers are out of the way before you start cutting. We're going to measure this again. Clip on to the end. And then we're going to pull down here and we see that we're not quite, we didn't quite hit our mark. So I'm actually going to cut right across that second line, make 52 and a half inches. So this one piece is going to be our front center piece. I'm going to measure this again just to make sure we have 52 and a half inches. Now we're going to measure our, our other 19 inch pieces. All right, so now we've cut our two by sixes. We're gonna go move on to our two by fours. And those are gonna get cut into three 52 and a half inch pieces. Those are gonna go across the bottom and then on the, on the back side of the top. Next, we're gonna cut four 19 inch pieces. Those are gonna run long ways in between on the bottom to support our boards that'll support the tank. We'll have two pieces that are 42 inches tall. Those are gonna be our front posts that are gonna support the front side of the structure. We have two pieces that are 78 inches tall. Those are gonna be the posts that go along the back to support both the tank, the plants, and the light. Next, we're gonna have two pieces that are 12 inches long. Those are gonna be up here, and those are what the light is gonna be um, hanging from, anchored from. And we're gonna have three 49 and a half inch pieces. Underneath the plants, and they're gonna support the weight of the plants. The one last piece we need to cut is a 49 and a half inch two by four to serve as a cross brace between the two main posts. Let's get to cutting. Because I'm gonna have so many of these two by fours, I'm gonna actually go ahead and label this, how big that board is. We can sand that off later and uh, that'll help us keep track of where we're at.
So with this leftover piece that's 39 inches long, I can cut two 19 inch pieces out of that. I've marked off my list here. I'm just kind of making tick marks as I go, but I've got 52 and a half. I got two of those cut. I've got two of my 19 inch pieces cut. So I'll cut one more of these. And I can get it probably a couple more 19s out of that. So then I can move on to my next board. So I'm trying to use my wood as efficiently as possible. This is a 52 and a half inch piece. And this one is gonna be the top back piece of the frame where we're gonna grow our plants. So now we've cut our, all of our two by four pieces. Now we're on to the one by threes. And these are gonna be six pieces, 48 inches long. I've got those right over here. These boards are gonna go across the bottom of the, underneath the, uh, the fish tank right here. So we see in this view right here, they're gonna be running long ways with these cross supports that are gonna be two by fours on the bottom piece. And I'll run the full length and the fish tank will sit right on top of that. Let's get to cutting. What you're looking at here is all of our boards that we've pre-cut and now we've stained them. Our stain is also a sealant and protectant so we went ahead and did this before we put it all together. We didn't want to do it at the end because uh, you might miss some parts of the boards that are connected to the other boards. So we're protecting all of our wood because we are going to be working with water and so we want to prevent water damage and rotting. You know, we want the system to last a really, really long time. So we went ahead and stained everything and then after all of it dries, we're going to go ahead and assemble that. Um, so we, we set it up here on this ladder so that we have more surface area for wind and everything to, to come in here and, and dry our stain up. We give them a period of time with water and we give them a period of time with air and that mixing back and forth allows for us to have an environment where the plants can really take up those nutrients really well. So let's go ahead and get plumbing. <laughs> 